Sports Entertainment Schmig. And it's brought to you by Plaza Motor, Signs of Hope. Big announcement yesterday. We were excited since we're sending one lucky Y98 listener off to the Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles for the We Can Survive concert. Tons of artists in the lineup and just added to CBS Radio's We Can Survive, presented by Five Hour Energy, Alicia Keys. Wow. Ooh, yeah. Nice. That concert sold out Friday, October 24th at the Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles. But you know, Y98 always has your tickets. Okay, now on to the American Music Awards. Nominees announced yesterday they're changing it up a little bit as far as Artist of the Year. It's been expanded from five nominees to ten. People can go online and vote at amavote.com. And then November 13th, a month from yesterday, they'll narrow the pool back down to five. Iggy Azalea, Luke Bryan, Imagine Dragons, Lord, Katy Perry, Beyonce, Eminem, John Legend, One Direction, and Pharrell. You had a, a much better opportunity to get uh, a nominee or a nomination if you mentioned butt or booty in your song yeah. this year. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? H- Higgy Azalea led the pack with six nominations. She is on J-Lo's booty. Um, <laughs> really? Yeah. Whoa, really? She's on Again. J-Lo's song booty. <laughs> ah. All right, that changes everything. <laughs> John Legend, <laughs> Katy Perry, and Pharrell all had five nominations. Lord followed with four. Lord's officially made it if the American Music Award nominations weren't enough. She's been mocked on South Park. Last week's episode. Last week's episode of South Park, it was revealed that Randy Marsh, a 45-year-old geologist geologist with a mustache, is actually Lord. And Lord has commented on South Park's take of her. I have a mustache. Like I, I have a mustache, but is it that prominent? But it was a, it was someone's dad pretending to be me. But we we actually in my hotel room we went yeah 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 I'm Lord yeah 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 for like an hour because that's what they do in the episode. It's very funny. The poor girl's seventeen. South Park. Yeah, you she's handling it well though. She really no. is. I've got a mustache. <laughs> mustache. But- She's famous. Sometimes you forget how young she still is. She is on Time Magazine's list of the 25 most influential teens. Did my uh, any of my kids uh, <laughs> make it from years past? <laughs> no. No? No, sorry. Oh, man. Uh, female Little League superstar pitcher Monet Davis comes in first. She's 13. Oh, that's cool. So she can still make it for a, quite a while. Sasha Obama and her sister Malia come in second. Kiernan Shipka who plays Sally Draper on Mad Men, came in third. There's a Vine comedian, Nash Greer. He's on the list. Uh, You also have, let me see here, uh, Manny from Modern Family, Rico Rodriguez. Um, (laughs) These these three teens who took home the grand prize at the Google Science Fair for a discovery involving bacteria that sucks nitrogen from the atmosphere into the soil. I mean, really complex stuff. Didn't back in the day you suck nitrous? (laughs) From something, <laughs> yes, Kevin? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I think the term is "you suck." It was all I needed. Last week's Nobel Peace Prize winner, the youngest ever, Malala Yousafzai, 17 years old, she made the list along with Kylie and Kendall Jenner. How is that possible? Mm. Well, I mean, they have a bunch mm. of lines of stuff, I and know. they have tons of followers. I mean, that show. Ended up making them. And the one girl's a model, so at least she's working. By the way, this vest I'm wearing this morning, this is a Molala. (laughs) I don't know if you check the label. Neil Patrick Harris. Talking about uh, post-Doogie Hauser, or around the time of Doogie Hauser, he lost his V-card. And he lost it to a girl. And um, the story involves one person on the show's uh, college alma mater. We were at a party uh, at someone's house, and some girl was there from college, New Mexico State University, with a friend, and told my group of friends that she wanted to have sex with me because I was on a TV show. And so my friends were like, this is the time. It's (laughs) perfect. And it seemed perfect at the time. And then (laughs) it happened, and I, you know, it was my my first time, so it was very warm and exciting. And then she was done. She didn't want to date me or anything. We were at a party. I don't even think she thanked me. It was, you know, and I was, okay, well, where's my pants? 
<laughs> well, you know, that's the M.O. for all of us who are Aggies, yeah. you know, yeah. New Mexico State. Um, we just want to sleep with people that were on television. Yeah, that's, that's so why sad. I, that's why yeah. I got into the media. <laughs> that's business. why you went on television? So no, on could... radio. <laughs> you were you were on TV, though, as a meteorologist. I was, yeah, but I, I wasn't getting any action. <laughs> it was all cold fronts. <laughs> <laughs> Record ratings for two cable shows, Walking Dead, fifth season premiere Sunday night, and set a personal best with over 17 million viewers. American Horror Story, no. Horror Story, the fourth season premiere set an FX record with 10 million viewers Did you watch last it, week. Kevin? No, we watched the that, scene. No, it's but, so, uh, it was so it was good. Better than that? Yeah, Jessica Lang sang a David Bowie song that was pretty awesome. And she was... Which song? Life on Mars. Really, really good. Well, I mean, it wasn't great. It was average. <laughs> <laughs> she sang. Jessica Lang sang. It was cool. <laughs> <laughs> On TV tonight, The Voice Battle Rounds, the series premiere of that NBC show, NBC show, Marry Me, about a boy, and Shonda Rhimes guest stars as herself on The Mindy Project. That's Entertainment Schmig. More at 840 and online at Y98.com.